William McFadzian. William Frederick Billy McFadzian, D.C. 9, October 1895, 1 July 1916, was a British recipient of the Victoria Cross V.C., the highest and most prestigious award for gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to British and Commonwealth forces. He was posthumously awarded the V.C. for his actions on the opening day of the Battle of the Somme. Early Life William Frederick McFadzian was born in Lurgan in County Armagh, Ireland, on 9 October 1895. His parents, William McFadzian and his wife, Annie Pedlow, were from Belfast and lived in the suburb of Craigog. Known as Billy, he was educated at Mount Pettinger National School and then the Trade Preparatory School of the Municipal Technical Institute. A keen sportsman and standing 6 feet 0 inches 1.83 meters tall, McFadzian played rugby union for Collegians RSC. After completing his schooling, McFadzian worked for a manufacturer of linen. He was also interested in the military and was a member of the East Belfast Regiment of the Ulster Volunteers and the Young Citizens Volunteers. First World War Shortly after the outbreak of the First World War, members of the Ulster Division were urged to join the British Army to form an infantry division. McFadzian enlisted in the 14th Battalion of the Royal Irish Rifles as a private. The regiment was to form part of the 36th Ulster Division. After completing training, firstly at Finner Camp in Ireland, and then Seaforth in England, McFadzian and his regiment embarked for the Western Front in October 1915. The 36th Division was stationed near Thiepelwood from March 1916, and would be involved in the upcoming Battle of the Somme, for which it was tasked with advancing to Grand Court. In the early hours of 1 July 1916, McFadzian's battalion was assembled in Thiepelwood in preparation for the advance. While an artillery barrage on the opposing German trenches was in progress, he was one of the bombardiers priming supplies of hand grenades. In handling a box of grenades, the box fell into a crowded trench and two of the grenade's safety pins were dislodged. McFadzian threw himself on top of them before they exploded, killing him but injuring only one other. For his action, he was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross V.C. The V.C., instituted in 1856, was the highest award for valor that could be bestowed on a soldier of the British Empire. The citation, published in the London Gazette, read, No. 14 slash 18,278 T. William Frederick McFadzian, late R. R. Riff, for most conspicuous bravery, while in a concentration trench and opening a box of bombs for distribution prior to an attack, the box slipped down into the trench, which was crowded with men, and two of the safety pins fell out. Private McFadzian, instantly realizing the danger to his comrades, with heroic courage threw himself on the top of the bombs. The bombs exploded, blowing him to pieces, but only one other man was injured. He well knew his danger, being himself a bomber, but without a moment's hesitation he gave his life for his comrades. Letters of condolences were written to McFadzian's father by the commander of the Ulster Volunteers, Lieutenant Colonel Spencer Chichester, and Colonel F. O. Bowen, the commander of 14th Battalion. King George V. also wrote to the family and provided train tickets to travel to the V.C. investiture at Buckingham Palace. McFadzian was buried in Thiepel Wood. His grave was later lost. He is remembered on the Thiepel Memorial. Medal and Legacy McFadzian's father was presented with his son's V.C. by the King in a ceremony at Buckingham Palace on 28 February 1917. The V.C. is held by the Royal Ulster Rifles Museum in Belfast. There are a number of memorials and remembrances of McFadzian, who is the best known of the Ulster Division V.C. recipients. There is a plaque to him at Newtown Bread, a Presbyterian church in Belfast, which also hosted his memorial service on the one-year anniversary of his death. There is also a mural depicting him in Craigog, and several in Belfast. His name is one of those listed on the memorial stone at the Thiepel Memorial for the V.C. recipients of the Ulster Division, 
and he is also listed on the memorial tablet for the Royal Irish Rifles at St. Anne's Cathedral at Belfast. He is commemorated in T-shirts, E-shirts, mugs, and death scrolls, while the ballad of Billy McFadzian is a well-known loyalist song which appears in Nothing Personal, a 1995 film about the Troubles.